Before installing this mount, please make sure you read the manual thoroughly. Tool check. To install this product, you will need an electric drill, a 7 seconds inch drill bit for wood stud installations, or a 3 8 inch masonry drill bit for concrete installations, a half inch wrench or socket, a Phillips screwdriver, a level, a tape measure or ruler, a pencil, a hammer, and an electronic stud finder. It's also a good idea to have an awl or small nail to verify stud locations. Parts check. Check carefully to make sure there are no missing or damaged parts. Depending on your installation, you may not need every part provided. If any parts are missing or damaged, contact customer service by calling 1-800-359-5520 to have the parts sent directly to you. Step 1. Select the TV hardware and attach the TV bracket to the TV. Step 1-1. Determine the screw length and diameter your TV requires. Hand thread a screw into the insert on the back of the TV. If you encounter any resistance, stop and select another screw diameter until you have the correct size. The long screws should only be used with spacers or they could crack the monitor case or damage your TV's internal components. Step 1-2. Select the correct hardware configuration for your TV. Determine the hardware configuration that best fits your install needs. Spacers are not required if your TV has a flat back. However, if your TV has an irregular back or you need extra space to accommodate cables, recesses, or protrusions, your installation will require spacers. The following step only outlines standard configurations. If you have a special application, contact customer service at 1-800-359-5520. Step 1-3. Attach the TV bracket to the TV. For TVs with a flat back, position the TV bracket on the back of the TV and ensure it is level. Thread the short bolt through the appropriate flat washer, followed by the TV bracket, and finally into the TV. Tighten the bolt with a Phillips screwdriver. For TVs with an irregular or obstructed back, position the TV bracket on the back of the TV and ensure it is level. Thread the long bolt through the appropriate flat washer and the TV bracket. Add the appropriate spacer between the TV bracket and the TV. Thread the bolt through the spacer and into the TV. Tighten the bolt with a Phillips screwdriver. Please note, if you're using the smaller spacer, you will have to add an additional flat washer between the TV bracket and spacer. Attach the arm assembly and wall plate to the wall. For help determining the proper height to install your mount, visit the SANIS website at www.sanis.com and locate the Height Finder tool on the left side of the home page. Simply enter your TV and mount information, and Height Finder will calculate the optimum location to install your mount. If you are installing your mount on a wall with wood studs, proceed to Step 2, Walls with Wood Studs. For installations on a concrete wall, proceed to Step 2, Concrete Walls. Step 2. Attach the arm assembly and wall plate to a wall with wood studs. Please note, for safe installation, the wood stud size must be 2 by 4 inches or larger, and any drywall or other wall covering material may not exceed 5 eighths an inch in thickness. Use an electronic stud finder to locate and mark a stud. At this time, it's a good idea to verify the stud location with an awl or thin nail. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking the two hole locations with a pencil. After you have marked the hole locations, use the 7 seconds inch drill bit to drill the two hole locations to a depth of 3 inches. Attach the arm assembly and wall plate using the two lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall. Tighten the bolts with the socket wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. Fit the covers over the lag bolts. Step 2. Attach the arm assembly and wall plate to a concrete wall. Please note, for safe installation, the solid concrete thickness must be 8 inches or more, and the concrete block size must be 8 by 8 by 16 inches or larger. 
ensure to mount the wall plate directly onto the concrete surface and never drill into the mortar between blocks. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking the two hole locations with a pencil. After you have marked the hole locations, use the 3 8 inch masonry drill bit to drill the two hole locations to a depth of 3 inches. Using a hammer, gently tap a lag bolt anchor into each of the two holes. Attach the arm assembly and wall plate using the two lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Tighten the bolts with a socket wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. Fit the covers over the lag bolts. Step 3. Attach the TV to the arm assembly. Please note, before proceeding, verify the wall plate and TV bracket are firmly fixed to the wall and the back of the television, respectively. Fit the nut and cover into the bottom of the mount arm. Position a washer and the pivot pin onto the top of the mount arm. With the help of an assistant, place the TV bracket onto the pivot pin. Slide a washer, followed by a spacer and another washer onto the mounting bolt. Thread the bolt through the top of the TV bracket and pivot pin until it reaches the nut on the bottom of the mount arm. Fit the cover on top of the mounting bolt. Tighten the mounting bolt using the hex key. Step 4. Adjust the tension. Using a hex key, tighten or loosen the extend tension nuts on top of the arm assembly until you reach your desired extension tension. To adjust the rotation and swivel tension, tighten or loosen the knob on the TV bracket until you reach your desired tension. Step 5. Install the cable management system. With the TV extended out from the wall, unscrew the cable management cover on the bottom of the arm assembly. Route your TV cables into the opening on the bottom of the arm assembly, leaving enough slack to prevent stretching when the arm is moved. Return the cable management cover to the bottom of the arm assembly and screw it back into place. If additional wire management is required, insert cable ties into the ends of the cable management cover Route the cables along the bottom of the arm assembly, leaving enough slack to prevent stretching when the arm is moved. Secure the cables in place with the cable ties. You are now ready to enjoy your newly mounted flat panel television. Thank you for your interest in the Sanus flat panel TV wall mount. If you have any problems with this product or have questions about installation, please do not return it to the store. Instead, contact customer service at one 800 359 5520.